Hey Nathan, it's Wednesday, May 6th. Okay, so recently there's been this study that of course has taken the media by storm, causing them to claim that beards are filled with poop. I've seen this shared all over and there have been countless poorly written articles that all say about the same thing. Study, men's beards full of poop. Now, a few weeks ago, I made a video on the dangers of believing facts and research based on studies that purport to be scientific, and the popularity of this recent claim has been a great example. Even the articles which, when read, mentioned some doubt to the totality of all beards containing poop particles still made their titles much more one-sided. Now, of course, the reason for the hyperbolic titles is what has come to be known as clickbaiting, basically making your article sound super interesting, often through exaggeration, which gets you more views, which gets you more ad views, which gets you more money. Clickbaiting is usually harmless. I often fall prey to it willingly whenever the article title mentions Disney, but it can get very dangerous when it starts throwing the words science and study around. So what's the actual deal with this study anyway? Well, first of all, I don't think you can even call it a study. This all started on a local news show in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Apparently, one of the reporters has this bit where she swabs random things and then tests them for, like, bacteria and stuff on Petri dishes. So, yeah, this was not a controlled scientific study, but just a news report on some local news show done by someone who is not at all in a scientific profession. The bacteria in the dishes were studied by a microbiologist, but here is where the information gets blown way out of proportion. Some of the bacteria were identified as enterics, which is a kind of bacteria that is often found in intestines. Not actual poop. There was no poop found in these beards. Not a hair of poop. Also, only some of the beards swabbed came up with traces of these bacteria. Not all of them. But, for the purpose of clickbait, the Albuquerque news team and subsequent internet articles seemed to think that this proved that every beard is actually part hair, part poo. Even if every beard had come up with bits of these bacteria, the truth is that you're gonna find this kind of stuff on every surface. On your skin, bearded or not, on your desk, on your kitchen counter, on your pets. You get the point. But what it really comes down to is that it is grossly misleading to claim that there is actual feces in men's beards. Unless, of course, the beard owner specifically and purposefully rubbed poop into his beard. It just really seemed to me to be a stab at the popular trend of young men growing luxurious, sexy beards. No one on that news team that I saw had a beard. Maybe they were just jealous. It seemed catty and it was incredibly insulting. They even claimed that beards were filthy and just as dirty as toilets. It's sensationalist, it's offensive to the name of scientific research, and it's kind of sad, really. It's a reminder of the state of journalism and what journalists think we really need to hear. And it's a really good example of the scare tactics that news teams use to get viewership. If you take anything from this, make it a public service announcement about general hygiene. Wash your hands after you poop and before you eat and I don't know, like don't touch your face a lot. And don't share articles that say anything about a singular scientific study that don't have any actual research information attached to them. I and other Paganophiles, thank you. Please share this video with anyone who thinks beards are pooply and with all of your bearded friends because they need a lot of support right now. Thanks for watching, liking, and commenting on the video as well, and go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Nathan, we'll see you on Friday.